people of Oceania retained all knowledge and all history through the shaping of spoken word into muscle memory. Every story a poem. So spit me a poem of how the world was made, beginning with your grandmother's face. So my name is William Nukatupu Giles. I am an Afakasi Samoan poet, born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, I do poetry and arts education work. Uh, I run workshops, I do sign performances, I do spoken word performances. Um, I do cultural work through like representation and empowerment through storytelling. And we are at the University of Akron in Akron, Ohio today. So this morning we did a writing workshop um, in the Excel Center of the library. Um, just uh, I brought in some kind of like prompt material. We had some conversations. We did some guided free writes. Um, just to, just to have like a generative kind of like space where we could kind of create together and um, yeah, and just do some stuff. Um, and then we went over to the student union to do a little open mic thing where we, uh, I, I did some poems, we had some student voices heard, it was a, it was a lot of fun. I came up uh, in a nonprofit where my mentors uh, were just community members who, who really cared and wanted to create this space of, uh, of empowerment through storytelling and of kind of like reclaiming narratives. So for me, um, my poetry informs my teaching style, my teaching informs my poetry and my writing, absolutely. So I mean, for me it was a lot of fun. Um, being able to, to listen is my favorite thing about poetry, so um, being able to, to join in the, the student community of the University of Akron and, and um, kind of dialogue and create, uh, just create ideas and kind of like work together was, was really, really fun. My, my work is all about representation, about creating accurate representations of people um, that maybe don't have a voice either in popular media or uh, anything <laughs> in many forms. As a Pacific Islander, I know that we are uh, pretty underrepresented in, in the world. Um, if, if, if you don't watch uh, American football or um, know who The Rock is from wrestling, you may not know of any Pacific Islanders, uh, or maybe Jason Momoa, I guess. Um, so for me, it's, it's, it's really cool, and my work is all about kind of humanizing um, this kind of like idea of paradise or these, these, these views of Pacific culture that are just based upon violence. Um, so for me, uh, I, I, I just want to create realistic representations and also encourage folks to kind of reclaim their own narratives and tell their own stories. Performances are great, but dialogues are better for me. Like I said, I, I, I love poetry because of the opportunity to listen. So um, to be able to have like an intimate conversation in which we kind of like bounce our ideas and we create uh, different palettes and thoughts and, and just ways in which we can um, interrogate different poems and, and create new ideas together. I really love um, that, that workshop space, especially because of the, the, the intimate conversation, because of the trust that people show when we share the work that, that's a minute old. Um, that's a really, really, really great feeling for me. So that our stories will never have to die. So that our stories will never have to live alone. Word. Thank you for coming out today, y'all. Uh...